Setting your lathe tool offsets manually can often turn into a long, drawn-out process. What if instead you could do this automatically, accurately, and much faster, and get your machine back to making chips sooner? That's exactly what Haas's automatic tool presetter option does for you. Now, if I'm doing this manually, that means I'm doing things like loading material, taking cuts, making measurements, and inputting values by hand into the control. However, if I'm setting my offsets using ATP, all I have to do is jog my tools over to the probe tip and let the machine do the rest. Now, for these three tools here, if I'm setting these manually, it's gonna take me at least eight minutes before I'm done. And that's if I'm moving reasonably quickly. Luckily, the ATP system is easier and quicker. So let's take a look at how the system works and see how much we can speed this up. Now, we'll index our turret to tool number three. That's the first tool we're gonna check. Then, we're gonna go to the IPS probing page and we're in manual mode. I'm gonna leave my tool offset set to three and I'm gonna change the tool tip direction to match the orientation of my tool. The turret is out of the way so we can deploy the probe arm. I do that by pressing F1. Now, I'm gonna jog my tool over until it's about a quarter inch diagonally away from the probing tip. Now, all I do is hit cycle start. You can see that our X and Z offsets have been updated. That's our first tool done. Now, we're gonna move on to checking our drill. I'm gonna jog back in Z until my turret's far enough away and I'm gonna index to my next tool. That's tool number five. And now we just jog back in to the probe. I'm gonna set my tool tip direction to just a single point touch, since we're only gonna to touch off the front face of the drill. I've got that set, so I press cycle start. Come in and probe the tip. And now I just press F2 to set the center line of the drill. There we go, second tool done. Now let's move on to finishing up with our third tool, the boring bar. Panel jog back in Z. So I have enough clearance. I'm gonna index the tool nine, that's the boring bar. Jog forward. My position matches my tool tip direction. We're ready to go. There's our third and final tools offset completed. And at the end, it took about a minute and 55 seconds to finish. That's four times faster than doing it manually. And now that I've checked those tools for the first time, it's very easy to go and check them automatically whenever I need to change an insert or I need to check the wear on a particular tool. Let's say I need to change the insert on this first tool we checked. So I swap my insert out, now, I go back to the IPS probing page, I select automatic mode, and now I'm going to select the tool number that I want, that's tool three, and I press cycle start. There we go. ATP makes updating your offsets really easy. And if you wanna place that automatic offset check into your program, well, that's really easy too. I just go back to the probing page. I'm in automatic mode. Tool number nine is the one that I wanna use. I'm gonna hit F4. I'll put that to my current program, and I'm gonna drop that guy in there by pressing insert. Now, the offsets will be automatically updated before that tool cuts the next time. Now, let's say I've got an insert that's been wearing inconsistently, and I want to probe it to ensure it hasn't failed. The ATP system can check for tool breakage as well. In my program, I've got a drilling cycle followed by an ID boring operation. I want to check this insert before I start cutting with it. I go back to the probing menu, and I select break detect mode. I enter the relevant tool information, and down here in this tolerance window, I enter the tolerance for how much wear is acceptable on this tool. I'm gonna do 4,000. 
Once again, instead of hitting cycle start, I'm gonna hit F4 so I can copy this to my program. I go down to where I wanna drop this in, and I press insert. There we go. Now my automatic tool breakage section has been added to this program. Okay, so our drilling cycle has just completed. And now before we move on to the ID boring operation, we're gonna check that that boring insert is actually in tolerance. We've checked it and it stops. That means that that insert is actually out of tolerance. Adding that break detect step to our program was really easy and it saves our part when the cutting edge deteriorates. With the automatic tool presetter, setting your tools for the first time is really easy. Then after the first time, it's all automatic. And when you need to check for a broken tool, that's really easy too. Just enter break detect mode, drop the generated code into your program, and you're good to go. With the Haas ATP system, checking your tools is simple. Thanks for watching.